The first thing to think about when you're extending the season is what kind of plants you want to cover. In front of me I've got some bull's blood beets which have a nice purple leaf and will develop some tasty beets as well and some arugula. Other things that you might grow for extending your season into the later fall months would be lettuces, uh, Swiss chard, bok choy, carrots. The types of vegetables that I'm talking about are what we generally refer to as cool season vegetables, or vegetables that grow best when the daytime temperatures are cooler than 70 degrees. There's some different methods for extending your season, and for the home gardener, probably the best method to use is some sort of row cover. A row cover might be what you know as the old sheet that your grandma used to put over her flowers to protect them in frost, from frost in the fall. Other options would be what we call a low tunnel, and that is using a hoop of some sort to keep the fabric up off the plant and kind of create a cushion of warm air over your plants to keep them from freezing and keep them growing when the weather gets cooler. A simple way to make a low tunnel or a low hoop house is to get some simple PVC pipe and either some bent pipe or bendable pipe and just push it into the ground. If you've got a number of vegetables to cover to have several hoops spaced out so that you're supporting the row cover above the vegetables. I do encourage everyone to find some bricks or uh, some, something to weight down the fabric so that it doesn't start flying away when it gets windy. If it's just going to dip to, down to 33, 32 degrees overnight, you might take it off during the day if the daytime temperatures are still getting up into the 70s because these plants would get too hot under the row cover. If your daytime temperature is staying in the 40s, even the low 50s, you can leave the row cover on because it'll help collect the heat under the row cover and help the plants grow more quickly, even in the cooler fall temperatures. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website.